Hey, comic book community, Longbox Love Affair here with another CGC unboxing. This is part two of my Rob Liefeld CGC private signing opportunity that they had several months ago. So there are two books in this box. They were originally 9-8 slabs. I cracked the slab, I resubmitted them, but just to be safe, these two I sent also in for pressing. So that's why they're separate from those that were in my last video haul. So I wanna thank all of you that watched my last video and commented a lot of interesting stories about people being blocked by Rob Liefeld. I was blocked on Instagram because I didn't like the placement of one of his signatures and the fact that he used black ink instead of white. So full disclosure, I did send in a window bag. I did have instructions. It was originally a slab that CGC had a crack because it had Todd McFarlane's signature on it. So I needed to keep that validity of that signature. So apparently CGC did not use the window bag. That said, my comment to Rob was polite. It was more uh, constructive and, and just saying, you know, in the future, you might wanna think about this. He blocked me. So, okay, fine, so, but, so be it. I have moved on, I don't care. It doesn't mean I don't like those books anymore. I, I can appreciate his work as an artist, but that said, there's some things that I might have bought in the past that I prob probably, probably won't buy now. And there's a couple things I put on my eBay page recently that I'm just like, Rob Liefeld fire sale. Let's, let's see if we can move these and give them to someone who really is a diehard Liefeld fan. So with that being said, right now, this week, I do have a bunch of auctions on my eBay page. Link is in the video description below. It is a, a lot of PSA and CGC cards, to be honest. I have a, a lot of Marvel Series 1, Marvel Universe Series 1 comic book cards from 1990, 1991. So be sure to check those out. Also, I just had two WhatNot shows, two WhatNot live auctions on my WhatNot page. Also, link is down below. Be sure to subscribe. I am going to commit to do more WhatNot shows. I need to get my act together. I need to get things ready and primed for that. I have a bunch of Bronze Age comics. I wanna do a Bronze Age sale. I wanna do another modern sale. So stay tuned. And the best way to do that is to hit that link and subscribe down below. So to refresh your memory, I got this book back. This is the one that started it all, 9-8. It stayed a 9-8. His signature there, Todd McFarlane's right there. The other book I was psyched to get a 9-8 in is this New Mutants 86, the ad appearance of Cable, signed in white. And a low population count on CGC sent us Cable 75. Nice white signature. All right, for those that don't know what I'm doing here, I'm unboxing two CGC slabs. They were pressed. They were originally slabbed. I bought them slabbed off of eBay uh, at various points in time. Uh, one recent, one long ago. And I wanted to get these signed. I want to add to my New Mutants Lob Rob Liefeld run pre-X-Force 9-8 collection. In addition to the ones you saw today, I have the first appearance of Cable, New Mutants 87, 9-8, signed. I have 88, also signed in a 9-8. And then I have issues, uh, let's see, 98, 99, and 100, all 9-8s, all signed. So there's not many more that I need. Uh, so I am curious on what these are going to be. So the first book is... This newsstand, let me do it here. Sorry, I got the light going on. Newsstand, this was a 9.8. When I opened it up, it was really nice condition, but I felt like it could use a press. I knew CGC standards were a little tougher these days. So did I get the 9.8? Yes. All right. He signed it in black. I can't remember what I asked, so I'm not going to fault that. It, you can see it. It's really squiggles. <laughs> but killer cable cover, ki killer Wolverine cover. Definitely a fan of his uh, 93 and 94 New Mutants run. So uh, to, to get that newsstand, especially in a 9.8, I was excited. Because newsstand copies, whether they're rare or not, depends on the era, but they were also manhandled. So to get a 9.8, have it stay a 9-8, because I did see a couple spine ticks. I'm glad that it did. 
the last book, like I said, there's only two book lot. New Mutants, what issue is this? 90. 90. He signed it in black. I doubt I asked for that, but whatever. I'm, I'm over it. <laughs> Did it come back a 9-8? It was slabbed in a 9-8. I broke the slab. I had it pressed. Yes. Yes. So getting it pressed after it was already a slab 9-8 was more precaution. I didn't want to send these books in. I didn't want them to have a tough grader and then I'm SOL that, that if, if it gets a 9.6 or 9.4, I want that run. And so 90, this is the uh, Sabretooth issue, 9.8 signed, at least in the black right here, you can see the black and the, the signature. Uh, I couldn't find for the life of me a 9.8 slabbed issue 91. I think it's a low population count from what I saw. Not many people are are, are slabbing them or, or selling them. And I really wanted to buy one slabbed because everyone I found in the market was uh, beat. I had some spine ticks. It was probably not a 9.8. It would have been a gamble. So my better bet is to buy it slabbed, crack the slab, and get it signed. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see, there we go. Pretty happy with the 9-8 there. And uh, that's that's my approach for, for getting these signs. So I am only looking for, I think, 89. New Mutants, 89, 91, 92, 95, 96, 97. So there's a bunch that I'm looking for. But uh, yeah, so I, I focused on the ones I could grab at that given time. I, I don't have them all, I have about half. So, and I have all, almost all the early ones. Pretty cool. I'm not sure what the population count is on this is. I should take a look. But overall, I am happy. There we go. New Mutants 90 and 94. So I've had this book as a 9.8 in a blue label for a long time. I've got a great deal in the beginning of the days of the pandemic. So I was, I was like, oh, I should crack that. And that's what got me thinking about that strategy. So... I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I have other things going on. I have eBay auctions going on this week with Rob Liefeld books, with um, Marvel Universe cards that are graded PSA or CGC. So check those out. Uh, so th uh, as of filming this, it is, uh, gosh, October 16th, 2023. So uh, those are, those are uh, posted and auctions end on Sunday. So check that out, check out Whatnot, check out my Instagram. All that information is down below. Thanks for joining. Thanks for my new subscribers. Welcome. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm going to work on the cinematography here. I do not like the blur factor here. But because this was a CGC unboxing and I hadn't seen the grades yet and I wanted to be surprised, I am not refilming this. So uh, next time it'll be more polished, I promise. So thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.